Hey guys, uh, today we do a tutorial about creating DNS addresses. There are basically two methods to do this. Um, in the first method we will create a no IP account and download the client which runs on your operating system. And in the tuned method you type in your data into a plugin in your modem. You will not need any software for this method. So for the first example we need no IP. So we open the web browser and give in noip.com. There you have to register, but don't worry, it doesn't cost anything. You have nothing to pay. I'm I'm already registered, so I just log in. Okay. Go on. Yeah, now you have to click at add a host. Now you have to type in the hostname field anything you want. It's it doesn't matter, just you have to remember I remember it well. So whatever. There you can choose an ending, whatever you like. And then, then you just press create host. And if it's created, uh, you can look at it at manage hosts. So you can remove or modify. So next thing we should download the client. For this you will choose your you will need to choose your operating system. Here we are. Okay. So after you did that and you open the software first time, you will have to put in your login data of um of the no IP homepage. So if you have done this you will see your created DNS address and you have just to check this field and then it should run. So you see it's updating. No update needed. Perfect. So just close it. And now you open the CMD and type in NS lockup and then the address you register it. In my way this is this one. So as you can see it shows an IP. Uh, to look at if it's working you can look at showmyip.com and check if, it, check if it's similar to the other IP and yeah it is so it's working the redirection so the next thing we talked about is the um, then dns.org method so you could do this method also with no IP but I decided to take then dns.org for this okay so you go to the home page you also register. It also doesn't cost anything. I'm already registered, so I just log in as before. So now you click at host services. And it's the same game like before. You can type in whatever you want to. You can choose an ending, whatever. Now you click use auto detected IP address and add to cart. And if you have clicked it, you have to go to my cart and send it. So if you if you don't send it, it it will not work probably. So if you send it, it won't it, it will work for the moment, but after the dynamic IP changes, it won't work anymore. So we have to get into the modem interface. And if you don't know the IP of the modem, that's an easy trick to find it out. So you get into the router interface, like we've done it before in the other tutorial about port forwarding. So, and if you're in it, you have to look for a point called system protocol. Uh, there's sadly no usual way to, to look for it, to find it. 
But yeah, you just have to look for it. I know what's mine, so I just show you. So that you have a line where is it and where where the you can read receive ack. There you got it. And now you take the IP of that line and this is the IP of the modem. So you copy it into the web browser like you do it with the router IP and you will get in it. Usually there should be no password. So this menu is in German so I, it's, it's kind of hard to describe. But you have to look for a rubric called dynamic DNS. You see? And as you can see, I already configured mine. It's like no IP software. You have to type in your name and your password of the DNS server. And yeah, you have to type in the host address. So. Don't forget to click in the active field and then you click OK. So after this is done, you can check it if, work, if it's worked too by typing again CMD, NS lookup, and type in the address. And as you can see, it shows the right IP. So it's working so far. I hope you enjoyed and if you have any question just post a comment and I will answer as soon as possible. So if you need an OIP, uh, you, you can download an OIP software at noip.com or in the uh, download link in the video description. So far, goodbye.